I'm being bombarded by a group of kids. Let me get out of here. Oi. Oi. So something interesting that I noticed here at the Simbazaz uh, Zoo and Botanical Park. I'm looking at, you know, the Ferris wheel and then whatever carousel this is. And I was like, what's powering this mechanism? Sada sada! No one is actually powering this at all. I would love to have been a child at this age and essentially going on a field trip to such a beautiful park and zoo. All right, see? Watch your step. They're sad. They want to be out in the wild. Yeah, watch out. Yeah, exactly. Look at those long tails. Wow! Madagascar, baby. This here is the official entrance of the Simba Zaza. We had to come to this portion to pay our fee. We made it in after paying and pretty much for foreigners it's 20,000 adiyadis per person so we paid 40,000 we got our two tickets we're right next to the chef ni aina restaurant so they do have a tourist price for locals they pay pretty much less than a couple quarters of us dollars but for foreigners you're about you're paying around four dollars and fifty cents per person so i think it's worth it to come to this beautiful botanical garden you get to see all the birds and all the different wildlife and flora everything here in the center of madagascar now let's go discover what animals you have never seen so here at the simbazaza zoo and botanical garden you're pretty much going to have to get used to certain animals you'll see but not knowing their exact name yes this is like a sheep or ram i'm not sure but here it's a little difficult because they don't have anything in any other language other than Malagasy or French. So here, as you see, they have it in Malagasy, and here they have it in French. So it's a little bit difficult for me as a foreigner to come here and say, oh wow, I'm understanding what, what this is about, but I can't because they don't really put in the effort to put another language other than the two. It's fine, it's their country, but if they're looking for tourists, please have at least a couple more languages, German, English, whatever, it will help the foreigners out. So this ram slash sheep is called an ondri. So I don't even know which is French or which is Malagasy, but that's what it is right there. So a lot of the kids like to come up. So I do know one of this that says, Port de mask is, your mask is obligated. I don't know what it says. I'll soon depart. I think they're saying your mask is so necessary. Thank you. All right. Si azo. Kintahana ni bibi. Don't know what that means, but hey. Man, I'm being bombarded by a group of kids. Let me get out of here. Oi. Oi. <laughs> Hello. Sara Sara. Sara Sara. <laughs> Malagasy kids here at the park. So these are field trips that they also take for their local schools here. I would love to have been a child at this age and essentially going on a field trip to such a beautiful park and zoo as I can see already. All right. Right upon entry, we see the beautiful feathers of a peacock. So nice looking birds right there. You see it's already ready. I don't know if they consider that it being ready to mate. I'm not sure if that's a male trying to impress a female, but hey, that's the peacock. Those things are super fast land animals, by the way. Look at that. So once again, you don't really see any foreigners here, but you see a lot of kids and families and pretty much two groups of field trips. Oh yeah, I guess the local church as well. Here you see a what, a Malagasy eagle? That thing is super loud, look at that. The kids are mimicking the sound. Loud. Look at those eagles. Big eagles. So here at the park, I before I came here, I definitely read some reviews and many people were saying that the park is not very well kept. And it's true, you know, a lot of holes randomly all around. Kids can just fall right into there. And imagine with all those kids that were here, they could have easily fell in there. So, you know, that is a shame that it's like this. It's pretty much not kept up. And this is right here next to these mallard ducks, I guess. Um, and the signs, they're pretty much faded. You can't even read it at all. So... There's a lot that could be done here to boost this park up. So I'm not saying all these things to essentially be negative, 
But if you want change, you have to let people know where the downfall is. So this is a, it's an issue, but hey, I'm here to see it. And I'll definitely put it on the internet to share. Don't know what kind of bird this is, but it looks cool. Long beak. They call it a Voronosi. Voronosi. <laughs> yeah. Voronosi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, see? Watch your step. Yeah. Attention. Yeah, watch out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. All right, what's that? Another big peacock. Here is a Sanglier Ulambo. This is a hog with a different type of snout. I wish you would turn around so you could see how this pig looks. It looks different. I don't know. It has like an elongated snout with, with husk coming out of the bottom of its jaw like other hogs. But look how it forms. It's different. I've never seen that before. See? You never know the different type of animals you see when you travel the world. Pretty cool, right? Look at that. Wow. Here we have an array of sweet potatoes. What else you see in there, Cream? Just sweet potatoes. Yeah. Yep. Don't forget that this is a botanical garden. Different species. Different species of sweet potatoes. And right next to the camels, they call it a uh, rameva. So there's a camel there. There's a kids park. So something interesting that I noticed here at the Simbazaza Zoo and Botanical Park. I'm looking at you know the Ferris wheel and then whatever carousel this is, and I was like. What's powering this mechanism? And I'm looking at the bearings and I'm looking down. I'm like, there's no power. So no one is actually powering this at all. It's all done manually. So we'll have like a guy, you know, just continuously push it, push it, push it one by one. And as he's pushing it, it gets its inertia to keep going and going and going. So it's the same thing for this Ferris wheel. The guys over there are just pulling it down, just like the Price is Right wheel, pulling it down, and that's what gets it to turn. So these guys that work here, they're, they're doing a very good job. Let me help you. Eddie, Eddie, Eddie. Good job. <laughs> that was cool. Yeah, thank you. So. You can try. Me? No. I'm okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, self-powered inertia. All right. So, same thing they do for the other one at the end. I'll go ahead and show you that right now. So, kids got to watch out. And the guys here will just... You at least got to have two guys. One help pull down. One help pulls it back. And that's what allows it to turn just like that. Man. Madagascar, baby. No matter what, I'm having a great time, guys. You know, it is what it is. Not everyone has powered mechanisms to make these things roll and turn and go around. So it is what it is, and I'm happy to show you this, guys. More to come. Now, this is interesting. I've never seen a plant such as this. It's like it's living, and it has, like, big old drums or something like stumps i wish they had some type of sign that would let me know exactly <laughs> what these plants are but it seems pretty interesting it looks kind of like taro or they call it gabi what's another name for gabi taro, taro what else malanga. malanga yeah it looks like big malanga <laughs> look at that isn't that taro right there that's that's taro yeah. This is Taro. Yes, that's Taro. That's Taro. Then what's that? Is that Taro's big daddy over there? Malanga. The big Taro. Yeah, they call that Coco Yam. Or I think so. Yeah, Coco Yam. Wow. Interesting things. Interesting. Very interesting. As you know, these type of uh, these type of plants grow in the muck, so they they easily grow without any help from like humans they just grow all right
Il a des pouces opposables, même sur les pattes postérieures. Nous avons les pouces opposables sur les mains, mais pas sur les pieds. Mais lui, il en a sur les quatre pattes. So it seems like lemurs have hands that go like this. I don't know. I don't know what he said, but lemurs hands are pretty cool. See, it's hard to see through these gates. Can't really see through it. I guess that keeps them from coming out, but it's hard to video tape it. On en a que deux, mais ils s'aiment pas. Ils ont pas dû les séparer. C'est malheureux parce que bon, bah, c'est dommage parce que. So many of you guys are familiar with the Madagascar movies. I'm not sure what are like three of those bad boys right now. So there's a lot of lemurs in that movie. And this is a maki. Maki. So there goes lemur. They're sad, they want to be out in the wild. Look at those long tails. Wow! This is some small enclosures. Just back and forth, that's all they can pretty much do. He wants freedom. Freedom! Freedom! No freedom. Un film qui qui s'intitule Madagascar et dans le film c'est lui qui joue le rôle de le King Julian, le roi Julien et il chante toujours Alex the movie movie. Il est parlé de the Madagascar movie. Il y a des anneaux et les anneaux sont au nombre de 14. C'est un régime matriarcal. Monte un peu le maquis. Euh, c'est un régime matriarcal, c'est-à-dire que c'est la femelle qui est très dominante. C'est elle qui cherche du groupe, c'est elle qui cherche la plus à manger. Une petite femelle, euh, comme mon point, elle peut dominer un grand maladie. Maki, c'est aussi le nom d'une nourriture japonaise. C'est un sushi. Maki. Maki, c'est aussi le nom des boutiques qui vendent des t-shirts pour touristes. À Madagascar, euh, les, 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 les Maki Company. C'est même le nom des mini supermarchés. Les supermarchés. Wow. Oh oui, Einstein. Ils avaient la coiffure de Einstein ou de Léo Ferré. Un peu de Pierre Richard. Ou de Ratimamanga. So what he does is he throws food up there and that gets them to come out of their enclosure mm. so people can see them. So then they go up and then get the food. Mm. Interesting way to get them the lemurs to come out. Comba. I think it's endangered. That's why you don't see these type of uh, lemurs. It's endangered species. So look at this. It's feeding time for this snake. And they put live, I don't even know what the guinea pigs, and then the guinea pigs are so scared, they're all the way in a the corner, they have nowhere to go, it's pretty sad. And all the little ankizis, ankizi means child, all the ankizis are looking at the, what do you call it, this the life cycle? Gerbils or guinea pigs, look at that. I'm going to end this vlog with just something interesting that many people may not be aware of. They pretty much charge 500 adiades just to pee. So this is the men's version. All they do is just have water streaming from a pipe down into the tile and down into some sort of septic. And that's how you do it. If you're a man, you come and pee on this side and then that's it. So I didn't have 500 because I just have bigger bills. So I said, I'm Vahini. Help me out. Vahini. And Malagasy means stranger, foreigner. So because I'm a Vahini, she helped her brother out. So it was cool. I don't know what WC means, WC. But for men, this is how it looks. For women, it probably looks a little different. But thank you guys here at the park for allowing me to pee for free. I hate paying. In the end, that's it. And so I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog. You done, Kree? Yes. I know, Mali. I know. Voila. So she's okay. So we're having a great time here in Madagascar. People are super nice and super kind everywhere we go. 
Um, so many kids running around, nice ambiance, nice area, nice everything. So I'm having a great time. Overall, this is Madagascar. All right, guys, so make sure you join me for more, more, more scenes for Madagascar. I hope what I showed you is enlightening. I hope that you're learning how it is in the country. And so this is my friend right here, my, my, uh, how you say it, my Ami. It's my Ami. And you too. Merci. Ami. That's my Ami. Thank you. All right, guys, I'm out. Time to go and do some other stuff. Bye. Attention, attention. Your wee wee is there. Yeah, your wee wee is there. She's mentioning that it, whatever we peed is going down. Eh, sorry, guys, it's real. <laughs> All right. Easy. Bonus. Too many people on the Ferris wheel. Ah, keep going. Ah, too many people. Oh my goodness. That is an interesting bird. Can't really see it through the gate too much. Look at that. I've never seen a bird like that in my life. This is Madagascar, guys. A Faison d'Or. Faison d'Or, right there. Faison d'Or. What in the world? Only God knows. Lá em Melanie.